Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and this is part seven, a uh, final part before the maiden of the De Havilland Swallow build. Uh, we left the last video where I just put the roundels on the wings and now I'm continuing with uh, some more lettering. So let me just bend you down, you can see what I'm up to. Oh, by the way, big thank you to Mark Swan for his donation uh, on the Buy Me A Coffee. Uh, thank you, Mark. Very generous of you, mate. And it will certainly go to more Bolswood and probably a little bit of tissue as well. If you want to check out the Buy Me A Coffee yourself, uh, the link's just down below. OK, let me show you what I've been doing. I have snuck in a bit of tissue. Did this yesterday evening late on the hatch. There's I'm going to paint this in a silver frame. And probably just black windows but there's also a nice little sort of half round window here the pilot can look out sideways so it's, it's a funny little shape actually so i shall look forward to putting that on i haven't um, put any dope on this yet which i'll have to do before i start painting it because i'm not sure if the dope will affect the paint uh, but i'll take that off for now because i don't want to scratch it up now i said i was going to finish the transfers once the fin was on but I have decided to put on the big VW120s on the bottom. I have printed them out in black and I thought actually they're too black so I printed them out in grey. So I've got one goes there and the other one faces forward like that. I think it's worth doing. I think they're quite an important part of the design. Right, the trick is when you cut a piece of paper, you've got a pretty much 90 degree edge, but if you run your nail down it, microscopically, you've just turned that edge of that paper down like that. So when you stick it on, it won't feel quite so abrupt. Already I can feel that's a smooth climb up, whereas that is a step. So that does help things enormously. Let me finish cutting out the rest. I might change the blade for the curved pieces. I probably will. And, um, and I'll be right back to you and we can offer it up to the airplane back soon. OK, so what I've done is gone down all the letters with the back of my thumb. So the first letter is going to be right there. Some white glue mixed up from yesterday. Now I have a feeling it does something funny when you do this. It curls up or something. And I'm going to go level with that leading edge, which makes it really easy to line all the other characters up. So there we go. Simple as that. W. Now, I think because it's sort of curled up, it's going to be difficult to sort of line it up accurately. What I think I'll do is to tell you what, why don't I just do half like this? And then offer up the dry side and then I can coil it over to do the wet side so like that and then all I need to do is to fold out the other half and we're good I'm going to try and avoid a crease in it because I'm sure I won't get that out definitely will need doping down there we go, VW, nothing to do with Volkswagen, I don't think. VW120. So I'll give the vest a little bit of dope, light coating to start with, and then another coat afterwards. But yeah, I like it. That does pop, make the bottom pop, as they say, quite a lot, doesn't it? So let me do the other part. A little. That will go down. Let me do the other other wing and then splash some dope on it. Get this in the okay guys, welcome back. I'm going to put some dope on. So let's see how we go. Maybe I'll put on a really thin coat to start just in case it reacts with the ink. And it looks like it might do actually. 
or it might just be needed a test piece really always put a test piece on somewhere or is it just soaking through I think it's just soaking through yeah it's not it's not coming off it's not so I think we'll I think we're safe to go I quite like the look of that that sort of dirty grubby look it looks and it'll probably dry clear anyway but it's got that lovely sort of worn high speed look I wonder whose job it was to paint these on underneath somebody had to get on their back and paint them on didn't they I'll let that dry and then go right across the lot okay there's one wonderful just let that go off a little bit and give it another coat all over right then guys that's it don't it won't hurt just to put a little bit more just around the nose under the front but it's done so I've just painted the windows in black they're not perfect but hey let's switch glasses actually probably why they're not perfect oh lord look at the state of those no they're not too bad just glossed it in I've painted some a couple of rear windows on paper and I plan to sort of stick them on um, whether that's such a good idea or not I don't know perhaps I should have just traced around it and painted it if it don't stick on that's what I'll have to do it's kind of like an idea I had but put that up there I have actually fixed up the radio gear now I put a receiver in there and got the servers working would you like to see that oh yes please Cliff okay seeing as how you are so politely I think I'm going to go with the 1300 3S. It's not going to give me as much air time, but the 2200, they're both about the same. The, C, the CG is a nose heavy on this slightly, and they both give a very similar result. Uh, but I can't, I can't get the, that battery in. If I push it all the way forward to get the back down, to get the hatch on, then it's grossly nose heavy. I push it back and it impedes the hatch so and I couldn't put the sliding battery uh, plate any lower because it's right on top of the main spars there so it fits where it fits and that's it and this will go in just to there that's where that sits Go down like that and so we've got ailerons elevators and of course throttle I'll give it a quick buzz but uh, I'm not going to do it for very long I'm not even going to go to quarter throttle but just to show it works okay that was just a quarter bottle so there we go it's alive and works and ready to go ready to fly now I've painted the hatch so there's nothing to stop me now from that best of all days the maiden flight uh, I'll wait for something that's got maybe a little bit of headwind not a lot but enough to get me away a bit I mean if there's no wind brilliant but if it happens to be um, anything up to say 10 mile an hour then I think we'll be good to go so I'm, I'm going to uh, link the playlist uh, be here at the end in a moment on the end screen and just like to say thank you to everyone for following along with this build every video has had best part of a thousand plus views which is incredible and I've had some great comments so I'm really looking forward to 
you know, the maiden flight. And I'm sure you all are as well. So, yeah, it's going to be good. Uh, somebody said, I must be getting a bit nervous now and coming to it. Not at all. It's a free flight model it, originally. It's got plenty of dihedral. I'm sure I could just open a throttle and let it go. And it will fly around unaided. <laughs> uh, right, OK. And uh, yeah, so thank you very much, everyone that's watched and followed along with this build. It's been fantastic. And if you're happy to look at memberships, great. Or if you don't want to commit to a membership, have a look at Buy Me A Coffee. I'll link it below. Uh, any contributions greatly received. I can buy more balsa. Having said that, my next model contains no balsa at all. I'm ashamed to say, but it's a means to an end. All will be explained in that video. So thanks again, and I'll see you for the maiden flight. Cheers, guys. Mm -hmm.